Hey, bringing you new update in KV Echo Engine. So far we could have editor windows only inside this one viewport window. Now we can switch selected window to external, pressing F11 key, so it becomes a standard window that we can move to another display, you know, maximize, restore, dock or change back to internal window, clicking the minimize button. With F12 key we can switch all windows at once to be external or internal. You can save your own windows layout here in scene page to these three slots. Now it saves external windows layout too and the main window position and size. The next updates are in robot editor. Here I would like to tell a few more words about how the robot builder works. So there is this robot builder and a script on build where we can define a robot. We could write all the robot definition in a script, but usually that would be a lot of writing to create the robot parts, position them, connect them with joints, set it all up and so on. So there is this robot builder that helps us to construct the robot easier. Then in a script on build we can set up more parameters like for example object density, object slippery, joint angular spring powers, our own functions for the robots and more. Uh, what I wanted to tell here is that the script on build is not being executed here for the robot in this editor window. Here we can see only a construction of a robot. The script on build is executed for the robot when it is added to a simulation. So here we just construct a robot and we can set up uh, here only a few creation parameters for the objects and joints. And here's the big new update in the editor. Now when we select an object we can click this button and we can change all the parameters of the object. Also those who will be added here later. We can see that now we are in the object edit page. So here we can set up for example density of the object to change the weight of it or we can change the slippery and what's inside this edit page. Undo support for the robot now includes also all these parameters. So when I press Ctrl Z here in the robot editor window then we can see that the slippery has changed back and so we are able to set up all parameters here in, here in the editor. I think it is important so we can construct and set up the robot easier now. We will also need to change these parameters uh, many times when testing and updating our robots and this will be much faster uh, to look for the parameters in the s uh, then to look for the parameters in the script on build. The same update is done for the joint so you can select the robot joint then click this button to edit more properties and change them. Undo support works here too also with a hint of what have been changed. I have uh, updated th the undo of the robot a lot. It now takes less memory and is faster and better done for the engine. I have also written hints for the controls that are useful to get more information so don't forget about them. From time to time I'm, I'm updating them to write more details. The next update in robot editor is that we can finally scale robot objects and we can scale wall the robot. So here we can scale the object. I wanted to show here that the object is not just scaled as it is, but it also adapts its vector border and triangles to its new scale. So the triangle size stay uniform. That's important for the physics and more reasons. Okay, here in the robot block we are able to scale wall the robot. 
just write here some percents of scale and click this button. I have also added a feature of mirroring the robot pose. I have used it uh, when I was building this flipping robot. We call it Flipbot. It's just the first try, you know, the construction, but it, it can turn to the left and to the right the way it goes symmetrical. You can see two different ways of turning to the sides. I'm planning more updates uh, in a joint feature so the movement will look better. Uh, and as you can see I have changed the design of editor a little. It was just too colorful, looked like a candy. Okay, looking forward to your reply. So far, bye.